Welcome to All About the Brand Podcast. I'm your host, Courtney Sargent Sr. Thank you so much for tuning in today. This is going to be a good one today, folks. I'm talking about elevator pitches, and I'm going to teach you how to write three different types of elevator pitches so you know that you're not going to be fumbling over your words when you're in public. (laughs) Because listen, we've all had that moment, like you're at a networking event or a social gathering or even at the store, right? And you meet someone new and they say, tell me about yourself. What do you do? And if you're not prepared, if, if this is something that you're not used to, your hands could start sweating. You start babbling, you start fumbling over your words and you go on and on and uh, rambling, basically, without ever getting to the point. And that's called word vomit. (laughs) And I don't want that for you. I don't want that for you. And I also don't want you to freeze up or blurt out the first thing that comes to your mind, because both of them are embarrassing. And when that happens, the problem is you never actually make a valuable connection with people and they're not making referrals. Right. They're not going to remember you. They're not going to be able to understand anything that you're saying or talking about um, or because you don't know how to communicate about your business, essentially, at the end of the day. All right. But listen, hey, I get it. It's 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 not that you don't know about your business. Maybe you just don't know how to communicate your value in a concise way. And it has happened to me before. It happens to the best of us. Right. You can catch us on a bad day or whatever. Um, that's just the way it is sometimes. But today that ends. All right. I'm going to teach you how to write three different types of elevator pitches so you can confidently and intelligently speak about your brand and your business to anyone and everyone in any situation, every situation. First off, what is an elevator pitch? The elevator pitch is a concise description of who you are, what you do, and how you add value to the marketplace. In this video, I talk all about the positioning statement. If you haven't watched that one, be sure to watch it because you'll be using some of that stuff in this video for your elevator pitch. But basically, the positioning statement is an abbreviated elevator pitch. And the elevator pitch is the long version of the positioning statement. So they both go hand in hand, neck to neck. When someone asks what you do, your elevator pitch is the go to. Now, it doesn't have to be long. It doesn't have to be drawn out and complicated. Don't overthink it but it does need to be impactful and informative at the same time. It should lead to more conversation, right? So don't use too much jargon and industry talk that nobody even know what you're talking about, because I guarantee you when you start talking that talk and people don't know what you're saying, they're just going to leave. They're not going to remember you. They're going to end the conversation short. All right. So to sum it up, the elevator pitch is a few informative sentences that strung together in a seamless fashion that, introduces yourself and your business that leads to valuable connections. That's what it's all about. It just helps you to concisely, quickly, effectively tell about yourself and your business. Today, I want to give you three different types of elevator pitches, a formula to write each one and some examples for each. Okay. The majority of people make the elevator pitch complicated and daunting, but there's no need for the extra drama. Okay, (laughs) you don't need the extra drama because it's not rocket science. And to prove it, I'm going to break it all down for you in this episode. And in layman's terms, all right, I'm not going to I'm not going to talk over your head at all. You're going to break it down in layman's terms. Now, I'm going to go over my 10 minutes of what I say I want to do for this podcast. But uh, just stick with me because this is really good. All right. You ready? Let's go. The presentation elevator pitch. You would use this one in a group setting, like at a networking event where everybody get gets a chance. You, you've been there, right? You've been to these networking groups where, you know, it's your turn. You get up and you take 30 seconds to tell the group about yourself. You know, it's one of the most awkward things ever. But, you know, hey, you got to do it. I, you know, that's just the way that it is. But the ele- the presentation elevator pitch is what you would use in this situation is quick, straight to the point, And you always want to say something memorable. Say something that people are going to remember you by. And again, you'll use this in a presentation setting. So here's a formula. Intro statement plus professional fact plus passion statement plus about the business plus call to action. Okay, it sounds like a lot, but it's really not. I also got a PDF that you can download to fill in the blank. Essentially, you know, y'all know I love worksheets and PDFs. The intro statement is one short sentence about yourself. And you can feel free to include a personal fact here. 
the professional fact what is what makes you stand out from the rest how many years of experience do you have just simple stuff like that your passion statement what is your why as it relates to the brand what wakes you up in the morning what are you passionate about you want to make sure that you include that in this uh, elevator pitch about the business if you had to sum up your business in one short sentence, what would you say? That would be that statement. It's just something quick and simple. Your name, what you do, who you do it for, things like that. And finally, your call to action. You want to give people a logical next step. What do you want them to do? What moves the needle for you and for them? Okay. Tell them how they can work with you. Even if it's just get coffee, you right? That's a call to action. Okay. Next up, the one-on-one -on -one elevator pitch. The formula for this one is almost the exactly the same as the presentation elevator pitch. The difference is this one is more conversational. You talk a little slower, you use more words, you go in depth a little bit more, uh, give more personal details, you know, and if you want to and more background. So again, very conversational. So think about it like you're talking directly to one person so you can add more of a personal touch. All right. Here's a formula. Personal fact plus professional fact plus passion statement, plus about the business, plus call to action. Okay, next up, the executive summary elevator pitch. This one is very different. This one is much more professional and polished, and most likely you'll never actually say this one. You'll use it in your branding and marketing material on your website, in your, on your sales deck, your pitch deck, and your business plan. And now you may be asking, Courtney, if I'm not going to say it, then why do I need it? Again, this is for the written form. Remember, you need it because you want to have a professional presentation in your marketing message, in your messaging. And you'll use this one in writing a lot more than you use the other ones in person, if that makes sense. OK, and as big of a proponent I am for making things personal, I'm an even bigger proponent of keeping things polished. That's honestly is probably a downfall of mine. But I just like things to be polished, you know what I'm saying, and professional. So you wouldn't put your presentation pitch or your one on one elevator pitch in a business plan or on your homepage or your website. You would do this one. OK, your executive summary. And you need something that's a bit more solid, marketing worthy and brand worthy. Earlier, I mentioned the positioning statement. And this is where you're going to use all of those things you created as part of your story brand exercise. If you don't know what I'm talking about, watch this video. So here's the formula. Problem plus empathy plus authority plus call to action. Start with the problem. This is one sentence about the problem your customer faces related to your solution. Empathy statement. This is a statement that simply says, I understand, right? You're recognizing their problem and you're empathizing with their problem. Remember, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Authority statement. Simply state how you're uniquely qualified to solve their problem, right? That's that's pretty much it. And then call to action. What is the next step? What moves the needle for you and for them? As I said before, because it has to go both ways. You need this in your messaging toolbox for your website, for your about section, your company descriptions, your business plan It's very, very important. OK, I'm almost done. I know this has been a long episode, so I'm going to give you one more bonus and then I'm going to let you go. So the bonus is the one liner. The one liner is one sentence that is punchy, direct, straight to the point and sums it all up. It's a short combination of a few things. So here's a formula who you work with, plus what you do for their problem, plus their benefits or transformation. And uh, here's an example again for Sergeant Branding. Sergeant Branding works with corporations and influencers to transform their outdated brands into customer centric conversion focused powerhouses. There you go. Boom. It's punchy. It's direct. It's informative at the same time. It's not too long. It's, you know, just short and sweet. And this one is also very helpful um, as an asset in your messaging toolbox. So I encourage you to write this one, too. It's just basically a summary. I know this was a lot, but here's what I want you to do. Give you some homework. All right. Download the complimentary PDF that goes with this information. It breaks it down for you and has boxes where you can just type in each part of the formula and uh, and then you can type the full thing um, or you can actually actually print the PDF as well. If you like to write with your hands, it's a worksheet that makes it super simple for you to write your different elevator pitches. Click the link in the description to download. And then after you've written it, come back to this video and 
put your elevator pitch in the comments because I would love to uh, read those. All right. That's all the time that I have for today. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me this long time. I really appreciate it. But all right, that's all the time that I have for today. I'm gonna let you go. I know this was long, but I hope it was good. If it was good, if you enjoyed this video and this, this information, please leave me a comment below and click the like button to just let me know uh, that you're out there, that you're listening and that it was helpful for you. Okay, until next time, I'm wishing you all of the success you're willing to attract into your life. Let's make it better by growing up together. I love you, my friend. Peace.